Once you've completed modeling your geometry, you might want to output your images in a more presentation style format. And there's a few settings we can change to do this. The first thing we can do is turn on the rendered viewport. So let's go to view and select rendered. You'll get a nicer image with some nice shadows and ambient light coming through. Another thing we can tweak is the Rhino Sun. So let's type sun into our command line and the sun panel will appear on the right. We're going to turn the sun on and we're going to enable manual control. So you can't see too much going on right now. We can change the directionality of the sun a little bit and we can change the height of it. But to truly see these shadows, you want to come into the rendering tab and you want to turn the ground plane on. Now the ground plane will enable shadows to be projected on. So if we go back to our sun, we can actually affect the rotation of these shadows and the direction. So once we've got the model set up visually in a way that we're happy with, we can easily go and save these images out in a high resolution. The best way to do this is with the view capture to file command. You'll get a little dialog box that will appear and give you some options to save your image out. You can turn off the grid, the world axis, the C plane and have a transparent background and you can change the size of the viewport. I'm going to change it to a custom size and I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 and then I'm going to go OK and save that image out and I'm going to call it view capture. And now you'll have this high resolution image of your Rhino model saved onto your file that you can use in a presentation.